The church congregation is in shock tonight after somebody destroyed a much-loved statue on church grounds. Now, this happened at St. Monica's Catholic Church in Coos Bay. And KZI 9 News reporter Julio Mora Rodriguez joins us live in the studio now with some pictures of the damage and reaction from church leaders. Julio. Yeah, Matt, this happened last Thursday afternoon, and the one thing churchgoers are most upset about is the suspect pushed over the statue of the Virgin Mary. Church leaders say when they discovered the broken statue, a sense of sadness rushed over them. The statue is uh, somewhere between three to four feet in, in height. Uh, we had it mounted on a base in our courtyard, which is a nice little quiet, prayerful area. Uh, he put his hand on the head and just pushed, and it just snapped off right at the feet. It was a church employee who noticed the broken statue. Thanks to surveillance footage from St. Monica's, the act of vandalism was caught on video. The man in question was seen with long dark hair. He was also wearing a baseball cap, a backpack, and brown clothes. The church believes the vandalism happened between 4.30 in the afternoon when a woman was seen praying in front of the statue and 5.15. It was nobody that I have recognized on campus. It's nobody that has sought help here before. We have a lot of homeless that come here and get food vouchers and uh, some people that have camped from time to time. Um, but it's nobody that I have seen here before, and, the, and he didn't, the police didn't recognize him either. I did reach out to Coos Bay Police but have yet to receive a call back. No one has yet to take responsibility for the incident, according to St. Monica's. Fortunately, no other damage has been discovered we're taught to to seek forgiveness and that we need to offer forgiveness ourselves. And so uh, we did pray for the individual. Uh, when we announced it at our masses, I said, keep that person in your prayers. Uh, don't be angry or upset at them. Um, we Coming up in a special edition of KZI 9 News at 8, what I've learned about the statue in terms of repairs or if it will need to be replaced and how St. Monica's is moving on from this incident. Matt, back to you. All right, Julio, thank you.